Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about the very popular Wi-Fi module that is ESP. So the image what you're seeing on the screen is the ESP01 uh, Wi-Fi module. It is based on the ESP266 EX chip and uh, there are various different modules available in the market uh, but the ESP01 is the very popular one and it's very small and uh, cheap and having low pin count but the other module having its uh, other benefits like ESP07 comes with the external antenna interface similarly other models having some different feature okay now but today we will gon gonna talk about ESP01 module so let's start so ESP01 module is very small if you compare uh, on this image uh, with the 1 euro coin it's like it's very small and uh, it is very cheap uh, it is available on uh, various online sites but it is also available on amazon.com so you can simply get it from here okay now let's talk about uh, about this chip so basically all modules what you have seen it's uh, based on the ESP8266 ES EX chip so this is the main Wi-Fi chip made by Express if uh, what this chip does is is basically translate all high-level uh, Wi-Fi uh, handshaking or uh, like you know API into the small and uh, simple interface so that anyone can use this chip or uh, Wi-Fi module in their project and simply they can have uh, like you know Wi-Fi based solution so it is very popular for the IoT projects now so let's move on to the pin diagram of it so we'll only talk about uh, ESP01 module so this is the pin out of ESP01 so simply you can see it uh, comes with uh, only 8 pins uh, out of 2 are for power supply VCC and ground and uh, uh, 2 for the communication that is uh, RxD and TxD it's uh, UART communication TTL level and uh, some resets and chip enable signals and some GPIO just remember uh, user can use this chip standalone like uh, you can write your own program and uh, own code into this chip uh, but remember you need to uh, learn the Lua L-U-A-A -A, uh, language so you can and it's having its own tools so you can simply write the code and uh, make a standalone device or you can uh, also interface to any like you know standard MCU boards or MCUs like Arduino so by very simple connections like uh, you have to just uh, connect the UART uh, and uh, just reset and chip chip enable signals if you want but uh, before you go on this step uh, we need to understand like uh, we need to play with this chip right so to understand like how you can uh, configure it on uh, like you know uh, Wi-Fi access point mode or Wi-Fi station mode so there are various instructions so to play with this chip uh, I suggest we should have this kind of adapter this is the FTDI uh, adapter it is nothing but a USB to serial converter but remember it converts USB to 3.3 volt TTL serial converter and this is the special uh, converter you can simply plug the ESP chip uh, on it like this just remember don't plug in the reverse way otherwise it will get damaged okay so you can also get this uh, adapter on uh, Amazon okay here okay so before you directly plug this chip uh, into your project I suggest to uh, play with the ESP module how you will gonna play with the ESP module using okay using 80 instruction set so on the expressive.com you can uh, simply find this uh, document it is the ESP8266 AT command sets okay here you can like read this command and you can simply configure this module in AP station as a how 
as a web server you can use it to or you can simply use it for data exchange or you can connect this trip to the internet okay so lots of things are there so so now uh, i already have this ftdi module and i have uh, this esp01 module with me so and so i've already plugged this chip uh, on my laptop now we need a serial com port communication software so i'm using doclight uh, it's a free evaluation version okay so now what you have to do is we need to find out the com port as you can see if you click on it take some time just remember i have uh, written all the instructions already on the doc light and uh, let me show you how you can configure the com port and set the baud rate come baby come i don't know how much time okay so here you can see uh, once you hit the drop list you can see it's already been detected on uh, com4 and do remember we need to set the baud rate to 115200 because it is a default baud rate of esp and of course you can uh, change it later so hit the okay so what we'll gonna do is we'll uh, simply interact with the esp and we'll see how it responds so just turn it on so what i'm gonna do is first we will gonna reset the device so it is the 80 plus rst plus you know uh, carriage return and this is basically enter cr and lf so just hit this so you can see is the text in the blue color is the uh, instruction from the laptop and uh, text in the red color is all the response from the esp so next command what i can use is disable echo just remember like uh, whatever the command i'm sending it is first echoing it and sending with the response and giving me the data okay so i'll just disable the echo so now it's once echoed one and then give me the okay now to test it again i can simply send the 80 so it should give me the okay okay now you can see okay now what we will do is we will simply make this device make this esp uh, as an access point ap okay so to do to do that uh, we have uh, this command at plus cw mode uh, we need to set it equal to two okay so i'm sending this command so it gives gave me the response okay now just remember access point require ssid and password so we also need to define it so i'm defining by using cw sap command okay so so now we should have this hotspot or this ssid and with this password okay so okay now so now you can see uh, this device is broadcasting uh, as esp01 ssid and if i try to connect it it should also ask me the password okay so i think uh, that is enough for uh, the today's video and uh, do remember we'll have uh, lots of uh, learnings like uh, i'll gonna show you how to uh, make a small web server or how to uh, use this device to exchange the data okay so that's it guys i hope uh, you enjoy the video uh, about the esp8266 and uh, esp01 module do remember if you have uh, any queries or you need uh, any support just remember me so thank you guys thanks for uh, thanks for watching uh, see you in the next video bye bye